Welcome back to Total War, Warhammer 2. In the last episode, we eradicated Clan Morse and uh, got this province as a reward for that. We also allied with the um, Tor Elasor faction, and I'm hoping that they can get rid of. Um, Malice's uh, troops in here because I think that that would leave him at the Fortress of Dawn which would be good and uh, there's a dragon down here that we need to Imric to visit now if he had a better army we could actually challenge that dragon instead the question though is how many turns is the dragon going to be there Objectives, no. Could also should also send me to do that battle. Because at this point we don't really need the influence anymore that the dragon provides us. I wish it told I'm pretty darn sure that it says somewhere. How many turns is left of that dragon? Does it say on Imrek himself? Because I, I know I saw it somewhere. Not here. Sorry. 15 turns remaining. Okay, let's send Imric back to... Um, to... Um, the Shifting Sands, then, to get... Uh, a different army composition. Uh, Guyon has a skill point. Or two. Um, his melee defense is really low. Let's uh, give him uh, two points in heart to hit. Of course, also in the last episode, we have this dwarf faction who decided to declare war on us and ravaged one of our provinces before we uh, ruffle-stomped them completely. And they are now besieging our settlement in a last-ditch attempt to uh, reclaim their lost Lord glory. Phoenix Court. I'm not sure what Loth is doing. Lethal grace given this guy is recruiting troops. Um, I think we'll send Loth down to colonize Sotek. No, we can use uh, Banadol for that. To colonize Sotex Trail. Borders. It is very unlikely that Krokgar will declare war on us with a rating of uh, 127, improving to 131. Uh, these guys are usually quite honorable. He should declare war on us, that's on his scaly head. Why Can I offer assistance? did I move him? I'm guessing maybe I was thinking of doing the ritual. Kasabar. Numas. And Quexotl. Okay. Uh, that's a rather large army. Let's put him in there and upgrade the skill point on Harand. You need Deadly Onslaught. And then Expeditious Endeavor, I think. You may look upon. Oh, I thank you. Ever loyal. Um, we should recruit the final units into this army. We're recruiting two of those and one Phoenix Guard. And again, this music still reminds me of Skyrim. 
it might actually be the same uh, composer. Jeremy Soul, I believe his name is. Uh, I don't think I want any sword masters in this army. Why does the frost heart phoenix take longer to fruit than the other ones? So we have dragon and phoenix. What on earth did I intend to recruit in this army then? Recruit costs zero. Okay. One, two, three. So we need two archers. That begs the question what the final unit should be. Hmm. I think I'll go with a unit of dragon princes. They are quite useful for hunting down various units. Of course the Illyrian Reavers are faster in that term. With a speed of 90, but in comparison you can see how much better the dragon princes are. So we'll take one unit of dragon princes in this army. And then we need to deal with this dwarf army up here. No, I will not shame my clan. Now, this isn't really a very uh, Can impressive I offer army. Assistance? Uh, this army needs to be <laughs> revamped, to put it mildly. Prince of Elfwan. I think we'll just attack. None shall live. I can just talk to you with all this. Decisive victory. We didn't lose any units, Restrain that's good. Them. So let's replenish. At your service, Lord of the Phoenix Court. We did lose a, a unit. It would appear we lost a unit of archers. Prince of Elfwan. Faction destroyed Greybeard's prospectors. Such a shame. That's a fair amount of loot. And let's move on to getting Wary and Draftmaster. And Erdithane. Do you have everything up here? No. Two points in Expeditious Endeavor. And then this unit can move up here. Hello? Prince! Garrisoning! Thank you. Um, these also leveled up. This is the Handmaiden, so I think we should take Woundmaker. The High Mage, Gendalfa. And of course I've forgotten to see whatever that grounded thing is, so I still don't know what that means or why we get that. Wait! Good against flying? That might be the thing. Maybe it... Oh, it's... <laughs> now I feel like a bright nitwit. Target if flying. It says outright. It only targets flying units. Sheesh. Okay, that explains quite a bit. Arcane unforging. Nah, no, that's a single unit thing. I think we'll take a point in Apotheosis and a final point in Scouting then. And we'll just leave them there because I don't really want to move them around uh, before they have replenished. Can we recruit? No, we cannot recruit what we want in here. Okay. Any other units that I haven't moved? We have Leander, who is down here.
He too lacks one unit. Um, could always put this guy in there. But what this army lacks the most is... Well, they do have six. They have <laughs> quite a bit of archers, actually. But I was wondering about going out to the Fortress of Dawn. Get rid of Malice. Where to? You know, I think I'll do that. Put these guys. This unit will only become available after the indicated number of turns. Seven. Okay. Well Dispatch then. Me. Uh, can you recruit anything else down here? Only the regular crap units. Let's level him up at least, uh, give him Griffin, without a doubt. And Renowned and Feared, definitely. Then we have Aiden. Yep, so we need to start working on your melee defense. Muriel. How are you coming along? You need the wards. Yep, let's get the wards. And then move this guy. How is the public order here? Ah, crap. It's probably not a good idea to move him out of here yet. Let's put them in the Temple Avenue of Gold and set them in the normal stance. And as for other units that needs to be moved... Tauden, he's up there, mustering. Protector Dallas. Oh, this guy needs to move. He needs to heal as well. Uh, dedicated to Asurian, yes. And... Elven Scholar. I don't know what's up there. Defender of the Phoenix Throne. Not much. Your decree? Okay, well, hello. The Asher follow strength. Savage Orc Biguns. Savage Orc Boar Bo Boar Boy Biguns. Arrow Boys. Regular Boar Boys. And Glubsag. Corks chosen. Oh dear. A strong leader is need. Oh, sorry. I accidentally hit the uh, microphone boom there. Yeah. This is quite foggy. And it's also quite dreary. So how many... We have one there, and one there, and then one, two, three, and one, two, three. So... Um, this is not ideal. Okay, now, first of all, let's take these and put them in ranks of five. Why is there... That doesn't even make sense. It lacks people. I guess it would have had four, and then that guy would have stood behind there. So, we'll use that one in the line of that wall, then. Acknowledged. This one should be in the line of this wall. Then we have the Phoenix Guards. Let's put them in ranks of five as well. And... I guess we'll just have to make do with putting them like that. Awaiting orders. The Sisters of Avalon. I need to place them behind the infantry. So like that. 
Then we have the dragons. We can put those here. And the flame spire phoenix we'll put there. I'm a bit worried about the prince. He's not at the optimal hit point level here. But we'll put him in there. We have a shadow mage. We have a noble. And we have a lore master of Hoeth. Then we have the two eagle claw boat throwers, which we'll put here. Maybe a little bit over there. And I think that's all of the units. So let's start the battle and force it immediately. As the boat throwers should attack the gatehouse. And then all of the other units should move forward. Like that. And then specifically the Phoenix card. That would be these guys. Should move here. And then the archers. Here, there you are. You could move all the way up there. Yep, that looks good. You can breathe some fire on uh, these arrow boys, and you can breathe some fire on these. And you can move there. What does this do? Okay. You can attack those, and you can attack those slow things down because we have the shadow mage who should do this we have the law master who should if i can hit them there we go do that chop chop okay so that we shouldn't do that after all you guys need to climb the walls Mystifying Miasma. Okay, let's do that on them then. There are some biggins over there. Okay, now the Phoenix Guard should start climbing the walls. The dragons are almost ready to breathe fire again, so let's uh, move them in. Probably speed things up again. The gatehouse is down. Good. Now the dragons can go back into the fray. Hold that tower. We hold that tower. Excellent. How about our shadow mage here? Can you do like that? Excellent. Now we have a gang of arrow boys over here. Let's move the phoenix.
orders. Very well. If we move these up on the walls, that should uh, make for an interesting. Uh, Experience. Yes. At once. Yes. Of course. Okay, dragons. If you would be so kind as to move over here. This is a bombardment. Effective enough. Up in the air again. You can do fire on those. So can you. Okay, now let's send in the noble and the lawmaster and then the prince and then we can put her up there. This phoenix guard can go down and attack. Okay, let's get rid of these. Specific abilities, except for the um, channeling, which we definitely don't need. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere. Move these down. Ever loyal servant of the tower, and we have one. I don't see the point of uh, hanging around here. So we lost sixty four and killed six hundred or so, six hundred and forty. Five, I believe. Yep. Since it was their last settlement, that should give them a remaining of zero. Seize it, defender of the Phoenix Throne. Glugzag Gorks chosen has been killed, and we have secured the province of Southern Badlands. Top knots has been destroyed. It's very unlikely that they will pester us anymore now. Rid of that. Protector of now, Alphua. we need to keep an army up here, annoyingly enough, because this place will have orcs coming every now and then. Let's get Master Strategist on this guy. Actually, let's not. Let's get Lightning Strike and Renowned and Fear before we get that. Um, C.I. Suline. Uh, you can get Blade Master. Nashir. Let's give you Smoke and Mirrors. That's a constant effect spell, which gives uh, everyone plus 12% speed. Karorn. Uh, one point. I think we'll give you Sword Player. To make you better in uh, close combat. 
I think that would be all of the units or armies. Yes, now we have to deal with the provinces, of course. Cobra Pass, upgrade both of them. Tear that down. Don't need that. Southlands, World's, Ed World's Edge Mountains. We can upgrade Karag Zone. And the Kingdom of Beasts. We can repair the port and upgrade that building. This place has serious public order issues because of all of this corruption. Uh, vortex ritual available. We are not going to do that right now, but we have a commandment available up here, so we will do growth. Actually, no, we don't have a commandment available there. Now that should be it for that turn. That, that took a while because of the battle, of course. Interventions are doing their jobs, it would seem. Two armies up there. Wow. Now if you, uh, Couldn't you just... Kill him? Okay, now... Imric... Mikaela has skill points available. Sun Dragon. Well then, I guess we'll take Wound. Now that immortality thing is gone again. Can you move you across the border Dragon Prince. in a normal stance? No, cannot. Make haste, Asa! Seeking glory. I serve the king. This army is done. Uh, so the question is, what now? How is our relationship with uh, these guys? Very good. We are not going to declare war on them. I expect our relationship with these is also extremely good, so we're going to leave all of those alone. Imagine that. I'm leaving other factions alone. So, this fellow here, I think we'll move him Pretty down to, uh, to Exotl. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Lord of Loath, the Phoenix Court. you have leveled up. Let's give you a Great Eagle and a Foe Seeker. Lord Can not I moved. Offer assistance? Banadol, yes. You are on your way to uh, Sotex Trail. Journey. Truly... This is the Clyde of Dragon. Prince Let's of move Oak. you out and go colonize the Bel Aliad. And as you have noticed, I'm not bothering searching the ruins I'm anymore. Ready. That gives us back this province. So let's go into uh, rebuild Lost Splendor here. How can I assist you? This army, I believe, we need to keep here for a little while to get more. Um, Stability. Are you using? No, you're not using yet. So, I believe if you have that, yes, you do. And you have... Okay, we should get Elven Healing. Yeah, let's get Elven Healing. I think we need to keep, to keep him Our there for the public order. Strong. As you can see... 35 of that public order is from characters and military presence, so we don't want to have that become an issue in the province currently. Now let's get the gem mine shaft. And Agnor will be heading up to Al Haik to uh, colonize that, which will give us that province as well. Um. You've moved. You need to stay here because of stability. You are supposed to stay there. Defender you I want to Phoenix have Thrill. in Gorgazan. Just in case, because Numas was one of the targets of uh, the ritual. So, then we need to move on to the provinces. The Land of, As Land of Assassins can upgrade this and this. Very good. Shifting mangrove coastline, that is a... 
quite the name. Plaza there, good. Southern Badlands. Both gold mine. 1,000 income? Provides garrison sun dragon? Jeesh. That is fairly impressive. Southern Red River. Ah, this province is going to be annoyingly difficult. Because Sotex Trail, which we are going to colonize. This gives public order plus five, though. Okay. That's something. Anyone who has leveled up that I haven't given skill points to? Nope. So, enter. You may gaze upon my glory. Tic-tac-toe wants a military alliance. Well, I think I'm happy with having a defensive alliance, to be honest. No, actually, I will give a... I will accept a military alliance with... To feel all is only natural in the presence of the Dragon Prince. High Queen Kalida. Now you, on the other hand, I do not want a military alliance with. I'm quite happy trading with you. I don't want people... But you hate vampires. But you are a Tomb King. You're at war with the Blood Hall Coven, which is up here. How come? That doesn't even make sense. Oh well, well, I don't want a military alliance with you, that's for sure. Now that's a very nasty intervention. Jeesh. Well, I can see a problem with that kind of an army. Can I offer Sword of Cain rests. Right of Awakening performed, Hexalethal. So they get a Slam Mage. We have researched Star Metal Blades. We also have gained the trait Engineer on Taudin. And we have used all of our... It's going to be interesting to see if Hexalethal succeeded on that ritual or not. As hot as Dragon's Fire, Master of Drakes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, I should have caught on to that earlier, but <laughs> he's talking about himself. Of course he is. Jeez, this guy's arrogant. Oh, uh, well. Bye-bye. The last phoenix. Five phoenix guards. Mm, we'll keep the unit of dragon princes. We'll also uh, sack these. We don't need them anymore. Star dragons. Those are the best ones, I believe. Yep. Okay, so he's doing that. Banadol, you can go into the normal uh, moving mode. Should level you up, though. Two points in... Uh, no will be one point dedicated to Asurian and one point in Elven Scholar and you can colonize Sotex Trail I serve the king. and you can stay there for a while because this is uh, pitiful let's uh, fix that Heat cannot stay. research available broadhead arrows Definitely. And first of all, let's check our units that can have skill points given to them. Another point in Blade Master there. Karorn, uh, Valor of Ages.
Oh, detain. Uh, you need Blade Master. I don't know why you haven't gotten that point. And then hard to hit. This Your army bit. should move up towards Alhaik. Marching out, Guardian. Then our provinces. We have Cobra Pass. We have the Land of the Dead, which is now going to be upgraded to the maximum level. Don't know why I haven't torn these down before. We have all of these. So since I want this to be a military province, do we need those buildings, I wonder? Which building is it? It's this one. Does that unit require... No, it does not. So we don't need the uh, basic military buildings, which actually makes this slightly overpowered, I would say. Let's get that. Then in the land of the dervishes, we will upgrade to the Grand Repository and shifting mangrove coastline, we will continue to get um, public order. 11. Yeah, we definitely cannot move our armies out of here yet. The Serpent Coast is going bad. Very bad. I have to move uh, Banadol back so we can get some stability there. Or I could move him up. Moving back and forth, I suppose. Setting up Garrison, Prince of Elfwad. In the Great Desert, let's upgrade Bel Aliad and get the gold mining pit that the dwarves tore down for us. Unassigned skill point for Derelac. How did I miss that? Oh, Blade Master it is. And. Nah. Enter. Ura ara. Hello, Malus. What did you what do you think you're doing? These pirates are uh, interesting for flavor or something. They just roam back and forth. Occasionally they declare war on you. They never attack your cities, but they do attack you if you are in the ocean. Okay, an age of discovery. The raging sea god Stromfels has gone missing, perhaps blown too far south by the arcane tempest that is consuming the world. With his absence, the great ocean is becalmed. The denizens of this world sense an opportunity. It is no longer for the elves to dominate the seas alone. Other powers seek to ply the oceans, hunt for treasures and expand their empires abroad. However, they must not, not mistake a calm sea for a safe one. There are still countless dangers lurking in the deeps. All major port town owners have become known to each other via diplomacy. Of course, we've already had that for quite some time, but uh, now everyone has it. Clan Spittle has been obliterated. I guess that's the uh, interventions that I sent. What a pity. Someone has claimed the Sword of Cain again. Greatest of the Dragon Princes. Now, we want another unit of Phoenix Guard here, and I also... We need another unit of the Sisters of Avalon. Uh, 
I also think that we want a unit, a hero in this one. Level 6, level 8, level 3. I don't want a mage. Let's get a law master of Hoeth. This one is pretty good, but he's weak to fire. This one is pretty bad. Well, he's rather good, but he's pretty bad for my unit composition. Stimulated. Um, okay. Let's get Aramir. Servant of the tower. What do you see? Two points in training. Sword player, Shem's burning gaze, and a valor of ages. They are under my protection. Imric. Good. Lord not moved, Agnor. We will put you into the main stance this. and colonize Al Haik. Prime for action. Province secured. Coast of Araby. Now he's going to stay here for a while. Dedicated to Asurian, without a doubt, and Elven Scholar. Um, any other armies that needs to be moved? Imric is... what are you doing, Leander? You're maintaining public order. With Malus coming to the land... ...some monster units, I'll leave you there for the time being. Akarnet is probably headed for the Serpent Coast, though. Load, you're hanging around there. Agno, you're done. Taudin, you're hanging around in there. Panado, you are replenishing your troops. Syrian, you have a skill point. Uh, well, Expeditious Endeavor and Deadly Onslaught. Dallas, you are hanging up there. Iswal, you have a skill point available or two. Well, let's get two points in Elven Scholar. Did I catch everyone who can skill up now? I did. Let's get on to the provinces then. Coast of Araby. Let's rebuild the city of Al Haik. Public order here is uh, very decent. We can also move the army out because uh, uh, we would have two in surplus. But he Your needs decree. to replenish. Cobra Pass. We need to... Do this. Why did I leave this empty? I guess I didn't intend to leave it empty, but there probably was something there that I tore down. Let's get uh, an archive then, so we can get more mages. How long does that take to build? Ah, I can't be bothered. Um, 26 plus 9, we are still... Land of the Dead. I guess we can get this one done, so we can have more nobles. There we go, and then shifting mangrove. Coastline. And southern badlands. Not ready for the uh, ritual yet. Let's rebuild Lost Splendor here. I should look at the provinces now. As long as they have that one, or rather, they shouldn't have the two crossed hammers if it is at maximum level. This one is very soon 
maximum level. No, I'm upgrading to level 4. But this one should definitely change. That's a very tempting. Yeah, we will rally citizen militia here. Because this is our military province. Land of the Dervishes, you're done. You are in banished corruption. We can remove that, actually. Let's get tribute to the Phoenix King. Northern Red Rivers, you are also in banished corruption. Yeah, it's going to stay still. We have plenty of untainted available, so let's just move on over to the tribute. Shifting Mangrove, you're still growing. Shifting Sands, you have the tribute. You are growing. You are growing. You are growing. And we have no commandments in the provinces. Okay. Good. Let's enter. Must have hurt. Not surprisingly, he moved off again. You may gaze upon my glory. Where are you going? Defensive alliance with you? Aren't you kind of involved with Exoatl? No matter, I'm not going to pay you money. Not that money is an issue, but I'm not going to pay you money for a defensive alliance with someone across the sea. Some trades gained, uh, and right off the bat we get to give this guy a skill point. Or rather, two of them. So, hard to hit and blade shield. Loyalty is all. Imric is ready to move. Of so, let's they may have put this guy in there, move you into for Stone's March, and move you downwards. Lord. You I go to Kuexothel and Lethal stay there. Can I offer assistance? I believe this unit has Defender Phoenix Guards. Phoenix Good. What's the stability like up here now? 31. Okay, so we're getting somewhere, but it's still not perfect. Uh, Guyon has a skill point. Rather two of them, so hard to hit and blade shield. Uh, Harond. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Expeditious endeavor and then hard to hit. Dalos. Of Elf One. Great Eagle. And Elven Healing. What is that sound? Provinces, coast of Araby. Let's repair the port and upgrade the main building there. Guardian of the Phoenix Crown. And this guy can move off next turn. Cobra Pass, let's upgrade these. Land of the Dead. This one needs to be upgraded. Southern Badlands, here we have to upgrade these. In the Southlands, World's Edge Mountains, we have more. So we want a Shrine of Asurian and an Archive. 
the great desert upgrade this the growth building back there in the kingdom of the beasts here we definitely need a plaza southern red rivers we have to upgrade this and we should get the growth building here public order is quite good because of the military presence and characters present in zotex trail but Prince leander should Elfwark. probably move up to serpent coast entering the garrison direct me yes now this one is going to go in minus, but it's much better than it was up here. The ritual is available, but we're not going to do that now. Yeah, you move into the reef, Malus. That's a good idea. Why don't you just take out Tor, El Tor Elasor? Oh, I'm fine with you taking out Malus down there. Please do. Nagarund completed their ritual. Well, that's fine. Didn't Clan Rictus become... Okay. I thought I, they were obliterated. But anyways, they have summoned a plague priest. Sildratur has been obliterated. Broadhead arrows is complete. Very nice. Then we get some followers. A few of them. Jeesh. Ah, uh, that was a lot of followers. But I think that this is a good place to end the episode. We are 52 minutes in, so... Uh, but these episodes tend to be on the long side. I don't think you guys mind. Thank you all so very much for joining me. And I will see you all in the next episode.